Let's briefly discuss the USB interface cards we use to add custom hardware such as push buttons, switches, encoders, potentiometers, LEDs, and many more to our simulators. I will show you affordable and very reliable products which can be easily installed, so please make sure to like, subscribe, and share so that others may benefit from the video. The list of cards we will review are used in simple projects such as button boxes, switch panels, and the more complex projects such as radio panels or advanced avionics. We will start with the cheapest and simplest cards and work our way up to the more complex and powerful, and also highlight the main differences between their categories. First up is the USB encoder card. Averaging at about $9 on Amazon, this kit is the fastest way to add any switch or button to your simulator. The kit includes the encoder card with up to 20 connections, a USB cable, and pre-made wires with connectors that can easily be connected to the hardware. It is completely plug and play and requires no drivers for Windows. The card will be detected as a game controller and any switch, button, or other hardware can be assigned a function in the simulator. Here is a sample setup with two toggle switches I purchased at Walmart. I had this set up and running in just a few minutes. The next cards come from Desktop Aviator and are a bit more powerful but also plug and play. They allow you to add many types of devices but the list extends from buttons or switches to also include potentiometers and rotary encoders, which can be used in the simulator for throttles, trimming, a joystick, or radio controls. They range from the mid-30s to the $50 range, and because of their large selection, please make sure you read the description of the product before purchasing. Next is one of my favorites, Leo Butner cards. These cards allow for a very quick connection when it comes to wiring and also support all of the hardware we have mentioned so far, but also include free software to fine tune some of the settings. Please check out my other videos as these have been made with Leo Butner cards. These cards can range from $40 to $47. Now let's take a moment to understand the different categories. The cards I have just finished introducing are generally known as hit devices. These cards, generally speaking, only have one-way communication with the simulator. In other words, they tell the simulator what to do, such as lower the landing gear, change the frequency on the radio, or toggle a light switch. But what happens when we want the simulator to talk back and also program the hardware? For example, turn on LEDs when the landing gear is down. This is where the word interfacing comes into play, and is accomplished with these types of cards. In a nutshell, these cards send a command to the simulator. The simulator then generates an action which is picked up by software and sent to the card which then programs the hardware such as an LED, a lever, or an LCD. Check out my Mustang Panels project to see interfacing in action with an Arduino Mega 2560. To save time with wiring, you can purchase terminal block kits which are available on Amazon. If you have a different type or interesting card you use, or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks for watching.